Halloween, it's Carnby. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A disc that's about 10 inches wide? That's right. I need it. We absolutely have to meet right away. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me. Gotcha. I'm warning you, I won't hesitate to shoot. Aline? Carnby? You scared the daylights out of me. Sorry. Do I detect a regret? Stop kidding. I have the impression that all this is getting us nowhere. I found nothing but scraps of information, pieces of a puzzle that don't fit together. Like this seal. A seal? Show me. Not so fast. Do you have the stone disc? Oh, I appreciate your confidence. Sorry, but I've learned to be suspicious of everything. Whether you like it or not, we're partners. And we don't have time to waste. Okay then, if talking to me is such a waste of time... That's not what I meant. But it is what you said. Here's the seal. Give me the stone disc. I need it. Okay, but I want to tell you that I really admire your courage. And only my courage? We'll see about the rest some other time. Go on. Good luck. You too, Carnby. Carnby, I have three statues. Me too. And I hope Edenshaw has the seventh one. We have to go meet him at the gate. I think everything's about to unfold right now. But how do I get there? According to Alan's diary, there's a passageway that starts in the fort. Carnby, you're so helpful that sometimes I have the feeling I couldn't do without you. Aline, uh, let's stop wasting more time.
Carnby? Aline, I'm in the undergrounds, moving towards the gate. I am too. Carnby, this is wonderful. This is an entire native culture that we believed gone forever. It's so rich. Aline, now's not really the time for that. But you don't realize what this means. The Apkani civilization ruled this part of the world for over 40 centuries. We're nothing but... We are nothing but a couple of humans trying to save their most precious belonging, their life. I know you're right, but understand how hard it is for me to accept that we discovered all this, only to lose it right away. Aline, we're running out of time. I know, I know. Wow. Ugh, life. You who can read our language know that you are at the threshold of another world. All that surrounds you was built by us, the guardians of your people. We have built a majestic world to honor the memory of the ancestral's combat fought here. Our fathers, fathers sacrificed their lives and we, their children, will never forget that our role is pay them in infinite homage. 
Oh, so this must be somebody that we, somebody who is in ancient, ancient times. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Well, we all know so far. So, Aline has found the ancients, but... What they will uncover is something sinister. Um, can I just say something here before I continue on the story? The plot is actually interesting, but then it just gets, I don't know, more science fiction? They, they, honestly, I'm being honest here, they try not to put so many science fiction in and created as a supernatural horror which it did work so well so I'm intrigued what's gonna happen and this is a PS1 version and of the this is the PS1 version of the game and honestly I love it. It uh, I love the homage to the old style retro games what we know and love. Anyway, anyway, let's begin. Anyway, let's continue forth. Kitchen.
Queen? Oh, I see we both reached the same point. We don't have much time. We gotta hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Now you're talking like a native. I feel like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. So, can you transcribe it? Wait. Yeah, I think I can. The gate is now before thee. The gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth. Thou who are about to open it, thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out. Thus, if the gate is opened, whilst the orb of day casts its first light, the darkness will spill out across the world, paving the way for its creatures, who will then roam the surface of the earth, feeding off the blood of all the children of light. That doesn't sound good. You can say that again. I think these must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle. That's got to be Hecaton Kyrus, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up. I'm begging you, Alan. You have no idea of the consequences of what you're about to do. Evensho. For years now you've been watching me, expecting this moment, just so you could see if your powers of witchcraft were still alive. But it's too late. You should have come begging long ago. You and I know that today is the day, or the night, actually. You're shaking, yet you're like all the others, fascinated. I realize that only my father was able to fight the madness that courses through all of the Mortons, and that is what killed him. I 
am the one who killed him. And you want me to give up now? I've spent my entire life waiting for this moment. I never cared for your human world. My research has paid off. I have created a new being, a being with no conscience, no feelings, no pain, a being who will know neither doubt nor hope. Soon my children shall rule the earth. And my brother, that coward, will be one of them. I know what this statue represents, and that is why I am taking it with me. You thought that by destroying my world you'd fulfill your destiny? Don't expect me to let you have that happy end. Get out of my way. As for you, strangers, I know not what brought you here, but you too shall soon experience the taste of darkness and oblivion. Light has for too long ruled alone. It is time for darkness to spill out across the world. Bonadza ternas guru helie zair hecatonkires. begging you, do not give up. If I do not recover the seventh statue, we are all doomed. But Carnby is dead. I'll never be able to make it on my own. Your friend is not dead. If he were dead, it would mean the gods of light have given up on us, and then we would have no choice but to kneel down and wait for the shadows. Believe me, Carnby is not dead. I know what Alan wishes. He wants to make the Seventh Statue disappear in the depths of the shadows, thus preventing me from carrying out the ritual. You must stop him before the sun comes up and the shadows spill out. Do you realize what you're asking me? I came here to authenticate a translation and meet Obed Morton, and I end up risking my life every five seconds fighting terrifying creatures. Our fate is written, but we do not know how to read it. Learn to remember your dreams and make your mind up. You know very well that I can't say no. I've come too far already. Beyond the gate, you will have to survive. Remember that the waters of the springs you will find can cure you of all harm. But beware, they are few. Go now. Our world is in your hands. Well, hello, everyone. I'm so glad that this is nearly, nearly at the final point. Honestly, this game... I'm so glad this game come back onto the PS4. Because th this is what old games used to be. Survival horror. So, yes, it was... Fuck me and Nelly went fell. No, um, th this is what old PS1 survival horror games used to be. Used to be good character, good storytelling, and, you know, fighting to stay alive with zombies, monsters, and shadows. Um, this is actually one of the best games so far that I have played and I have played in the past as well um it before when I said it was a little bit science fiction I have to disagree with it because there wasn't a lot of science fiction you know science in it, it's just something supernatural, mystery, and something a bit more fun that we don't see in many of games like this. Honestly, 
I enjoyed it so far and I hope you enjoyed it as well. But will Aline find Combi and find the seven statue of our seven gods of light? And will Eden Combi carry out the ritual? Well, we don't know for certain, but we are going to go into it next week. So stay tuned, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you on the next episode. Alone in the dark. Like and subscribe. Ka-ching!